Hi, today I'm going to, we're going to talk about washing your quilts. So one of the, probably the most common question I get is, can I wash my collage quilt or can I use it as a bed quilt? And of course you don't want to throw it on your bed unless you can wash it. So we are, we have taken these two quilts. This is made with light steam seam 2 as the adhesive and this one is made with permanent fabric fusion and or permanent fabric glue. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, permanent fabric glue. And neither of them have been washed yet, but they are both obviously collage quilts and so they have raw edges and we're going to wash them up and show you um, what happens and then you can decide if you feel like you can use one of these for a bed quilt. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm heading down to the laundry room right now. All right, I'm back. I have washed and dried the quilts. So let me tell you exactly what I did. And I think you can see um, they turned out really great. So the answer to the question, if can you wash collage quilts is yes. Let me tell you how to make sure that you have the best result. Um, number one is that the quilting that was done on both of these is very dense. So that means no more than a half inch, preferably about a quarter inch between stitch lines. And in a minute we'll do some close up so that you can see the stitching on these, the quilting. And um, we do that because we are dealing with raw edges. So everything needs to be tacked down really well. Um, the other thing was I washed the quilts in on delicate, so that means cold, and then I added a color catcher. Uh, this will just make sure that if there's any dye that's not stable in the fabric, it's not going to spread elsewhere in the quilt. So I didn't see on the little sheet that I pulled out, I didn't see that there was any bleeding on the fabric. Um, sometimes you'll see that maybe with some batiks. In particular, I would be very careful of that because I don't wash my fabric before I use it. Um, it's just one more step that I don't want to deal with. So, um, dent stitching, wash on delicate, and then I wash or I dried it on delicate as well. And I didn't dry it um, entirely. I left it a little bit damp so that when I pulled them out, I could still press them again. Um, let me point out too that this was, again, just as a reminder, if you want to come in here and We'll take a close look at it. So this has been washed and dried. You can see there is a little bit of fraying on the edges. It's pretty minimal though. Um, so I feel like this turned out really great. I, I have no problem and with the way that looked. Seam. Yep, this is with the light steam -a seam too. And then if we take a look over here, this uh, was done with the fabric fusion permanent fabric glue. You can see that the edges have frayed just a little bit more and we've got some texture going on with that really really dense quilting. So I love the texture that has come out with this quilt. I think that looks really beautiful. Um, so if you are going to wash your quilts you've got to have a certain tolerance for uh, the frayed edges. If you prefer to just keep your quilts as wall hangings, there's no need to wash them. So that's kind of the lesson learned. You can wash your quilts, uh, just know that there will be some fraying. Um, the key is dense quilting and wash on delicate. So there you have it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. You can always find um, me at collagequilter.com. My patterns are there as well as tutorials and links to all of my um, to my YouTube channel and my Collage Quilter Academy where I have my complete video course um, now available. So give me a holler if you have questions. Thanks for joining me today. See ya. Bye.